be able to record great audio, we first have to understand the basics of sound. Technically, a sound wave is a wave of energy propagating through a medium. The medium can be air, water, or other things. What I mean by this is that we are able to hear sound when the sound waves travel through something. Since there is no air in outer space, there is no medium for the sound to travel through. If you were away from your spaceship, you would not be able to hear the jet propulsion or engine noise of the ship. Let's look at something simple like a sine wave as an example. This is a sine wave, and this is what it sounds like. It's sort of a pure tone that we've all heard before. It moves up and down in a curving or undulating motion with a constant frequency and amplitude. You can see that the wave starts with a positive motion and then an equal negative motion. The vertical axis represents amplitude, or you could call it the volume level. The higher the peak of the wave, the more volume it represents. The horizontal axis represents time. One cycle of the wave is equal to one positive and negative motion. Counting how many of these cycles happen per second gives us the frequency of the wave. The smaller the cycle is, the more we could fit per second. Likewise, the bigger the cycle, the less we could fit per second. And that's the basic concept of sound wave theory.